It's the gorgeous and Ithaca's captivating scenery that inspires African musician Sammy Tay as he shares his gift with the world. The 52-year-old former Ugandan refugee used to live in New York City, but the sense of community among musicians, he says, attracted him to Ithaca. That, I think it's the most amazing place if you're looking for, you know, to be surrounded by really talented musicians. Sammy Tay says Nate Silas Richardson is one of those area musicians who he has the pleasure to work with. And that's Nate playing. The engineer for Rep Studio says he made the move to Ithaca nine years ago because he wanted to be a part of this collaborative music scene. There was a, a clear uh, group mentality with different bands that were otherwise would be in competition with each other, were supporting each other. While I was going there, I had this bird singing, Sammy Tay says it's great networking with other local artists, but he knows it's not always profitable staying in Ithaca. I find that to really get paid real big money, I have to go out of town. Even though some local musicians are looking to make more money outside of Ithaca, fledgling artists from around the country come here to take advantage of the countless venues such as corner taverns and neighborhood nightclubs. DC native Ben Thornwell is the lead singer from the indie rock band Jukebox the Ghost, and he says he was shocked when he found out a club called The Haunt was one of the tour stops in Ithaca. And he says he was surprised by the response he got here. There's kids that are interested in music in Ithaca, probably more so than uh, probably a lot of small towns out there. Before the gig, the band previewed some of their tracks at the Ithaca College radio station. Good afternoon. It is 30 degrees at 449. I'm J.P. Carlton with ICB News. WICB is one of the few stations around the country that devotes part of its schedule to live in-studio music. And Lily Naden says the town plays a huge role in the station's success. Having the support of the community is definitely inspiring and makes the product better and uh, also gives it, you know, context and some like local flavor. And many residents sample the local flavor at music shops like Ithaca Guitar Works. Bass guitarist Harry Aceto averages 160 gigs per year playing in country and R&B bands, but he says working with other musicians in the area never gets old. There's a lot of you know, cross-pollination going on of ideas and people learning from each other and it's, it's a pretty cool thing. Sammy Tay says being able to concentrate on his music in a less competitive atmosphere gives him peace of mind. People wanting things to be peaceful. That, I think that's one of the reasons I'm here. Especially being coming from Uganda, being in Ithaca, you are in a place that is calm, that is peaceful. And it's the tranquility that allows the musicians in the area to make beautiful music. In Ithaca, Jason Lucas, NCC News.